All right, so it's time to summon on the best unit in the game. New green uh, big wing uh, uh, lane. You can't get this Liz on the banner since he is the new outlaw. She can come at level 90. Uh, six star awakening, not SA6, but six star awakening. That's pretty good. And the rest of the banner is absolute poop. Um, I would say the best unit other bes besides the LR and the new unit is probably just Captain Melee and, and that's it. Well, I, I think it's Champion Melee, right? Um, but yeah, that's about it. She got replaced. This Well, she got replaced on Nidhogg. Disaster sucked. Denzel sucked. This guy's good for like some, a, a couple of PvE events. Useless, useless. Belmoth God. Belmoth God, I mean. Um, then Belion is just pointless. So, without further ado, go ahead and smash the like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that good stuff. Let's see. Uh, before I actually buy packs, let's see if I can um, get lucky and get her. So, what I need on the banner is just her. Just her. Just one copy. <laughs> And if it um, <coughs> excuse me, if it ends early, um, I'll probably do a ungear showcase and all that nonsense. Not nonsense, just you know, normal YouTuber du duties, right? <laughs> I saw a clip of her going crazy with like Sweet Jelly King. Um, hopefully he returns. He might be back for like November Fest or the festival at the end of this month. So we'll have to see. He might come back at the end of this month if it's like a, a, a festival king. Sweet Jelly King might be like a, a, a star on the banner as well. Stick red skip button. That's never good. That's never, 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 never good. Red skip is always a lot, man. Um, but yeah, let me know what y'all think about this, um, Elaine. If you want to hear from me, should you summon, I'm going to go ahead and give you a fat, fat, fat no. Do not summon on this Elaine. Even if you think she's good. Uh, she'll definitely be back. <laughs> she'll definitely be back, bro. It's fine. Like, what's the point of wasting your gems now? Just save for the festival. The end of September, right? Save for that. And or even when that festival comes out and you're just not impressed, save for November. Just save for November Fest because that's a guaranteed banger. And then New Year's is a guaranteed banger. So <laughs> you should really just be saving for those two and that's it. <clears throat> I encourage y'all to live vicariously through me. It's just, just watch Davo summon so you don't have to. You know what I mean? When I pull a unit, we pull a unit, ladies and gentlemen. That is, I'm, I'm so for real when that happens. That's why I became a YouTuber. To make people save money. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Put a shirt on, bro. God. Sheesh. I'm not trying to see a 16-year-old with no shirt on, bro. Relax, man. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what we can get. See if we can get any more fire. Well, it's not fire because anything we pull that's un like any other side that we pull is just like just trash, you know? Just just awful. Just scott awful. You know what I mean? <laughs> if it, I, I can see if I didn't have one oh my god, a full rare multi that's one of those rare multis people be posting on social media saying like yo Grand Cross sucks. Bro, you get that like one and like a hundred multis. I promise you. That is so rare. <laughs> that is so, 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 so rare. Oh, we got an eye flash. For the Gonda. Let's see. I'll, if I get her before eight minutes, I'll probably do a showcase. Like, I'll, I'll pause it and then, like, get her up and then do a ungear showcase. But if it takes, like, eight plus minutes, bro, I, I'm just doing the, the summon video. That's it. How far? Oh, y'all lucky. Y'all yeah, y'all came out the first show. If it was past 12 o'clock, bro, I guarantee you I would have skipped. Alright, Howzer. We started off with Howzer. That's that's a banger. It might be a banger here. I don't think I need anything else on a manager. I think every, everybody is 6 6 even like champion Meliodas. Alright, Deanne, hello. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> oh my days. Bellion. Hey, if they make Bellion a. What? I flash with a stick? Ain't no way. If they make Bellion an LR, they're gonna have to do some super, super mega tweaking. I'm not even joking. They would have to give him, like, a resonance on his single target, like like resonance on his ultimate, literally, like because his ultimate is just shatter. If they give him shatter and resonance, 
And then it made his drain like do spike, and then with his passive, he increases like crit chance or something, like crit crit chance and crit damage. Oh my god, bro! Then his AOE is shattered too. Um, let me skip. Eli, Eli, yeah, we going six hundred, bro. We can we. we. A lane, a lane, a lane. I never disrespected you, you know. I've shown nothing. Oh, Lost Vein. Hello. Hello. But yeah, they made Belly on the LR, bro. They better go out. They better go super hard, bro. We got to get a relic, too. I don't even know what his relic would be. Maybe if he fights another demon. No, no. If he fights a Sins. Like, he gets, like, uh, like, 30% damage, though, when he, like, attacks a Sin or something like that. Because in the movie, he was, like, you know, he was, like, going crazy towards them, right? Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Arthur, Arthur, Arthur. 300. Can we get lucky? Yo! <laughs> there we go. Exactly under eight minutes. It says six minutes. So, we got her. Let me, um, get her up. I gotta do a, the the Tower of Trials though to get her outfits. Um, I think they might be good stats too. But let's go ahead and see. We got win win exactly three hundred, bro. Big big W. All right, so let me level up and then I'll take her into gear, ungeared. All right, all right. Let's go into ungeared. I'm gonna run with this team for a little bit. I'm gonna use Sweet Jelly King with CC food. So let's let's give it a try. Sweet Jelly King, if he's on a full like fairy team. He gets like insane attack related stats and uh with helbrum his relic allows us to get some basic stats for fairy so we might look good the only sad part is his cc is absolutely trash even though he is six six and everybody else is like one six their cc is just like out outclasses his by like by eons right and then when the notch we're gonna get buffs for elaine because with uh in elaine's passive it says uh for each buff effect applied to fairy allies, the damage dealt by fairy allies will increase by 8% for a maximum of 32%. So even if, King, let's say I attack with King and he doesn't have the buffs, I'm assuming it counts since they are fairies. Like if, if buffs are on them, they have, they got two of less cards from Nanashi, they do less, they, they, do, ah, they do more damage dealt essentially. So let's see. Um, I was thinking of bringing uh, green Sario over anything because I was like, ah, you know, if I can get easily get those debuffs, it'll be fine. But I think it'll be good because uh, King does have a poison card and then we've got a petrify. So it, it, we might go hard. Who knows? Uh, let's let's go. Uh, Elaine has a single target weak point card and then she has to increase all allies attack related ability card buff card. I think at one one star it's going to be 10 percent two star 20 percent and three star obviously 30 percent and then our ultimate is release damage so oh hello <laughs> uh okay we got hella buffs so how about we do this we'll get an extra buff thingy right let me do that. They got, oh, I didn't need Saria because she automatically applies defense lore. So we might go crazy. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to y'all. We got a lot of buffs on us. All right, how much is this weak point doing? I don't know we can't one shot bro, but. Oh, <laughs> we one shot. We one shot LV1. Yo, my lane is crazy. <laughs> He had tight disadvantage. Nah, nah. This festival that comes out has to be, has to be, has to be a king. I think I'm a six sixer. No, no, no. Let, let, let me not jump the gun because you know I, I'm. It's, it's the honeymoon, honeymoon phase, right? I did want to use her with Bond, transcendent Bond too, even though she would only really be helping her. So, but with Bond, you can get automatic debuffs. So she might be, so she might be adequate on that team. You know what I mean? So. King doesn't get Nanashi thingies, but we can do this again. She's very tanky. Well, not very, like naturally like tankier than everybody else. He has damage reduction. Let's see if we can cook with uh with uh against LV again. I think it counts. If buffs are on them, I get damage though. I don't have to have it on King. If so, we'll find out right now.
I'm not even joking, y'all. <laughs> Elaine is quite literally stupid. This is tier level. Well, obviously, we got to see what she does. All right, let's 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 see if she can cook. Because uh, Sweet Jelly King, finally, he has support. He needed support so bad. She died from the poison, bro. W. So, uh, let's do... Oh, man. Let's see what her tag is. 13? 17? He had 21. He going crazy, bro. All right, let's do this. This. And why not? King. Wow, bro. You finally came back. It's been months for you to look decent. All right, Elaine. How much you doing? Okay, that wasn't the best, but... What the heck? This guy is crazy. King gets swept for every ally, for fairy ally on the battlefield. Increase the hero's attack related stats by 10% and damage dealt by 10%. With all the stuff Elaine is giving, 32% damage dealt. Defense reduction. And then the allies attack. Well, no, 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 no. For every debuff effect on the enemy, their attack related abilities is reduced by 5% for a maximum of 20%. That's a whole portion of her passive I can explore. I can just like throw Sario Link and run Zelda's back clown and we can p quite possibly cook. All right, uh, let's see what, what what's, what's going on here. So let's do this, this, and that. Uh, th they're naturally tanky because they have. Basic stats, Echidna, Freyr, this guy is a, a tank god. I imagine we won't do too much, honestly. We really just, okay. Echidna nearly died, that's pretty good. No Tarmian Link on tier, but on her? Interesting. I think he is going to destroy King, literally. I mean, we did put debuffs on him. If it's four, it's 20%. Oh, it don't matter, he don't care. Look at how over him. Look at help, I'm sorry behind. Oh, poor Elaine. Oh, she died though. W bleed. Um. No, I think we could quite possibly win this. It's a delete. I don't know if we can win. Yeah, we definitely need a lane. This is like a, if I don't kill turn one, I'm dead type team. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm definitely dead no matter what here, but I, I'm I'm very surprised at what we were able to do, even against that freaking LV with type, this, who had type advantage over us. Quite literally stupid. So we got hella basic stats, a lot of attack related, a lot of damage dealt. Oh my god, we, if they make help on my LR in the future, let's say we get a Festival King, and then they make this help on my LR, it's over. It's wraps. GG. Sayonara. He might have dodge food. He might have dodge food. Hope he did this. Bait it out, right? And if he doesn't have it, we, we apply debuff. Okay, no dodge food. I don't know. I'm, I'm curious to see how much this does. Okay, okay. When he crits, it, he, he, he goes stupid. But when he misses a crit, it's just like kind of meh. 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 You know what I mean? I'm trying to think like, what else? What, what the heck can we run? We could have taken... Oh, we got the crit, crit resist buff, right? Is it crit resist or crit defense? Oh, critical defense, that's pretty good. Well, she gone, so <laughs> it don't matter no more. Uh, Get a merge, but bleed? No, no, no more bleed, because he cleanse. Might be able to kill Demon King. Might be able to, let's see, let's see. Sheesh, nah, we gotta finish you off. Because I feel like King might sell us. Well, we do got weak point. Help him. Come on, dog. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> G G G G G G G G G no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good off that little bro. Um, I'm curious to even see how like uh Chad King Festival King would work. Man, this opened so many doors for all the like fairy units I could use. I wanted to I I wanted to use Glocks because of a clip I saw on Twitter, but I saw I remember this help him uh, gives basic stats with this relic so. I felt like that was too good to pass up on, even though his CC is abysmal, right? Hopefully King can crit. Ooh, we got a type advantage over two people, so he might go crazy. He might, he might. Might. What y'all think? What's a bot? So we can just go crazy, literally. Double weak point. It's a wipe. It's over. I'm very surprised. I don't think this is, like, a, a good team still, but... The damage is shocking, you know? How did that's the Rosen I die? That was very, very peculiar. Um, of course we get Hovum cards. Uh. Let's see what the bot does at the very least. King, oh goodbye, bro. Once he, I saw that crit jump, I was like, mm, it's over. Can I lane carry? I don't think so. No more bleed. Oh, when he dies, his debuff just goes away. That's so. That's. That's not right. What the hell am I gonna do? He ain't gonna do nothing unless I got a petrify, bro. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The honeymoon phase is over. <laughs> she was shocking at first. I was surprised to see her like freaking, well, Kane freaking kill LV of all people. I think I could try to cheese like using Aaron with this team. Hunky. I could just take off Helm and put Aaron. And then if he has type advantage, he could quite literally go crazy. So that may be a whole video in itself. So that's it. Thank y'all for watching. If y'all enjoyed the video, smash the like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that good stuff. She's okay. She's exactly what I thought she was. When I read her information, I was like, yo, she seems pretty good. But um, she's not exceptional. She's not fantastic. I would say she's like B plus, a B. She's in B. No, what's she, she be in B tier. She's a god compared to these, to especially to this nigga. This nigga is like garbage. He's like, all right. And she's like great compared to everybody else on his team besides Nanashi. So, uh, probably one of the better releases of this year for some reason. I don't know why. Like, other than the festival, she got to be like. I think Freya, like, I not, could not count festivals. I think the best releases this year may have been Freya, then Awaken Roxy. Maybe her. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Not counting festivals and uh, collabs, honestly. Uh, obviously. So, like, Roxy and Freya, and then her. But it's like a big gap between, I think, her and, her and like, where Roxy and Freya. Like, Freya's, like, top tier. For Obviously, because she's good for, in, like, PvE. But she's a user in PvP. And then Roxy is like great for humans. She even got a link and stuff. So that got, she has that going for her. But Elaine, I feel like she's probably like top three non-festival or collab characters. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Thank y'all for watching. And I'll see you niggas in the next one. I, shocking. I'm shocking to say the least. I mean, she not great, but she, she did surprise me.